Now we're going to simulate a vacuum motor problem. First thing we'll do is go to our test outputs until we reach output number 108, vacuum CR3. Now, 08 applies to your output terminal strips because they are actually numbered 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. So the first thing we would like to check is to see if we're actually getting power at the PC. For that, we're going to use our AC voltage setting on our meter. We're also going to just grab this common off your black light plug so that we can set the one lead there and we can still control the processor with our other hand. Once at the output, let's hit the on-off key. So zero, two, four, six, eight. Well, we have very good voltage coming out of there. So we have power at the PC. Now we would go to the actual relay itself. The gray-red wire will be the wire that goes into the vacuum motor. Well, we're getting power there. So that looks pretty good. Now, we would go ahead and check the breaker for the vacuum. That's not popped up. Now let's check our power to the plug. Oh, here's the problem right here. Vacuum motor's unplugged. We should be able to plug that back in, hit our on-off key and our test output. And as you can see, we've completed the circuit. 